Hey, hey, what's up? It is white to move here. What is going on? As always, pause your video and try to work things out on your own. So, first thing I noticed, knight on a3 placed in a strange, strange spot. Um, slightly concerned he'll go like b4 and a5 somehow and just kind of start pushing that pawn. Well, I don't know. What's the point of this position? Mm -mm. If we go pawn takes pawn, he goes knight takes. And that's what I would do in a game, and I just feel like white's, white's somewhat better there. Is there something stronger is the key question. Like, you know, we take on a b5, he takes with the knight, we go rook a1, rook a6. Just seems like nice for us. So what is happening exactly? Let me make sure I got the position right, as always. It does seem that I have set up the position correctly. Way to go, Greg. Um, pawn to c6, knight c4. I mean, honestly, I would just go... I see an idea, though. Uh, doesn't seem so good, though. I was looking at knight to c3. But I, I don't, he can just go pawn takes pawn or something. Then rook a1. Knight c3 is interesting. And if b4, knight b5. But still, it's the, uh, I don't know, rook c8 then. It just doesn't feel, well, maybe it's okay. I mean, pawn takes pawn still feels like the normal thing to do. You can just make a little blockade there. Like he takes with the knight if we like demonstration time. He takes, we take k1, you know, like rook b8 or something. This maybe. I mean he's worse, but I don't know, can we make anything happen? Although that's certainly the move I would lean towards playing here. If rook c3, b4. And it's annoying, for sure. So the only other move that makes sense to me is knight to c3. He has multiple ways of dealing with it. He has the move a6. He has the move b4. And he has the move pawn takes pawn. Now if pawn takes pawn, rook a1. Knight somewhere, rook takes a4. Looks like a clear and definite advantage for white. Let me demonstrate that line. Rook to a1. We're going to just, he moves the knight, let's say here. We just take, and this pawn is weak, his knight's almost trapped, you know. So that means b4 and a6 are the two serious options. Now if b4, I was planning knight to b5. The concern that I had was that he could just kind of like, See, the thing, I mean, he could go like a5, but then something like knight to d4 to b3 looks really strong, and his knight's totally out of play. If he takes on b5, we take. Now, he definitely has a move like this, but then we can... We can go here, and it's like... It's probably good for us. I mean, I, I wasn't sure. I know I'm moving the pieces, which is slightly sketchy. But um, rook c4 now and rook b3, b4. And I think we're going to like, well, b3 and then a6. Not so clear, right? I mean, the whole thing looks a little... A little sketchy to me, this knight, this knight c3 move. Hmm. Alright, let's think. Is there any way to stop the move b4?
Because that would be nice if we could stop it. I don't see a great way, though, to do that. Hmm. See, but I really want, like, like this position. Let's say then I play, like, whatever. Like this. And let's just say I do this, all right? If I could only, like, get my rook back to c1 and my knight to b3, the position looks really strong because his knight's totally stuck. I just want to make his knight stuck. I can't quite figure out how to do it. So I would probably just go pawn takes pawn, but I imagine there's a better move. So I'm, I'm going to just go pawn takes pawn. Just, I don't want to spend all day here. But let's see what the computer says. Well, computer likes pawn takes pawn and also likes rook d1. Thinks both moves are like of equal equalish value, and it also thinks about c6. So let's see what they say. And uh, I'm just turning on Houdini off screen. I'm uh, just kind of curious. Well, let's see what they say is the correct answer in this book. Salah of Elvis. It says now it is all about the control of c8. If White just advances the c pawn, it is bound to be tamed in the near future. Uh, with the next move, white takes command of c8 and simply pushes his pawn to the 8th rank. He goes rook to d1. I wonder if my Houdini will stop working. What didn't... Don't quite... So it says the idea is if he takes c6. Rook d8, rook h1. Knight b5, c7 wins a piece. If e5, I mean, it's a tricky position, you know? I mean, white won very quickly. Let me just prove to myself that this is right. So it takes, takes, rook a1, because I know we're better here. The question is, is it, is it enough? As soon as they do this, we can also go rook h1. Rook a5. I think f5 is the only good move, which is like tough to play. You try to defend better here for, for black. Because I just want to be sure that this is the, the best move. Like rook c8, rook h1. Because we do give black some counterplay with b4, you know? Rook h7. I mean, my computer is not like like so certain here that this is so clear. It's tough. I mean, point is, if c six immediately, rook c eight, and then the rook is tied down. So don't do it yet. I don't know. I mean, I, I honestly don't think it's... I can't really be sure that this answer is correct. I mean, Houdini seems un unsure. I know that white is just better here. Like, how much better, whether we can win or not, a little unclear, but my chances aren't bad. I mean, rook a8, it suggests, which is like kind of a pathetic looking move, right? And now it thinks a few moves are good for white, like like this, for example check. Here, now we come around. He even he's, he's even willing to sack a pawn. I guess if takes, the A pawn is too fast. No, it still thinks... I, I mean, it's complicated, obviously. It thinks it's a draw. <laughs> uh, but okay, it's very complex. I don't know. I, I can't really quite... Like, the point of this one is that we want to go c6 next move. Um, and if this move now, the pawn is still defended, so we can go rook h1. But black does get certain counterplay with a move like b4 that could be like a little annoying. So I'm not sure. 
if it's like so clear that this answer is correct. That's all. Um, don't have too much more to say than that. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Feel free to chime in whether you believe that, you know, use some Houdini analysis or whatever, that Rook D1 is somehow a much better move. Because Pawn takes Pawn really, White's better, and Black is just sub trying to fight for a draw in a worse position. Maybe they'll get it, maybe not. But it's a nice situation for White too. Alright, see you guys. Bye-bye.